The first thing I had to do in order to access all of these things that you're talking about, I had to divorce myself from the idea that I am just an artist. Because what that what that did is that put me in a in a box, put me in a box mentally, right. where I began to see myself through the lens of only an artist. Mm -hmm. So when this thing wasn't working, like when I wasn't being heard as an artist, yeah. I had no identity. Yeah. I had to remove that from my mental psyche first. And when I did yeah. that, I feel like God just opened up a whole nother realm mm -hmm. of understanding the gift of <laughs> music. You yeah. know that he has given me. And then I was able to be like the guy that, you know, first discovered peanut butter. Mm. You know, like he stood out in the field, held the peanut butter and prayed. And how many things could I get yeah, out yeah, of yeah. this peanut? Uh -huh. And I may have like paraphrased the story. No, no, I get you. I get you. The point is that there's so much that you can do with music yeah. if you have the gift. There's so much that you can draw from it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like part of the issue that we have is that we only buy into the hype of it. So that yeah. we're not able to see the other avenues where it, where it provides for us, mm -hmm. where it becomes a means to an end. And you and, and you limit yourself when you think in such a in such a such a trapped mindset. You know, you right. you really you really put yourself in a real tight spot because yeah, you have a situation like that is almost like like God saying, "Wait, this man think that." Right. You think I saw off? Like, or you think I you think I saw? Like, you, like it's only a single. All right, yeah. Hold you, my beer. You, you Let me show you. you know, let me you, show you. What, you know what I'm saying? You think like, that I've given you this gift, so during a time where yeah. everything is shut down, you to struggle with it? Yeah. That's uh, not really. Yeah. So it's I, like, let me I open up this other that. avenue for you and show you. Like, this is only this is yeah. only one avenue you were you were exploring. Like. Correct. Right. So so my advice would be to anybody. You know, it, it's a gift from God. Yeah. And you have to appropriate it as such mm -hmm. and begin to ask God, like, yo, what am I to be doing with this? Yeah. And he'll open up the doors. Be passionate but about when what you're talk doing about, Yeah, when we talk about sync licensing, mm -hmm. you know, that's an avenue of music that you can literally just make songs right. and get them in movies. And guess what? You own your masters. Ha ha. Yeah. Cha <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bandemic. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, just drawing a reference. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I just think there's so much that we can do musically, you know, mm -hmm. as far as writing songs. You know, just doing other things, and I feel like we live in a, we live in a time. I mean, look at what you're doing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? We we live in a time where it can't just be one thing. Right. You know, we have to, and I feel like now we've been pushed into a place where we have to. All right, yeah. what yeah. else I got in me? Mm -hmm. You know, Diversify. so yeah. So with music, I I would say do that. If you're gifted in music, mm -hmm. yo, I encourage you to spend some time thinking of the. Do some research. Go online. How can I get my stuff in this? It does, you don't have to be a superstar. True. You're